Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So I just got back from seeing DC League of Super Pets, the newest DC animated movie with a huge cast. So in this movie, the Justice League is captured by a guinea pig named Lulu and Lex Uther. So Crypto, the super dog, has to get the help from some other shelter pets that have gained superpowers in order to rescue them. So let's go into the cast list. You have Dwayne Johnson as the voice of Crypto, Kevin Hart as the voice of Ace, you have Kate McKinnon, the voice of Lulu, the evil guinea pig. You have Vanessa Bear, the voice of PB, the pig. Uh, Natasha Leone as the voice of Merton, the turtle that gains super speed. Oh, PB can uh, uh, size shift. And Ace is kind of invulnerable. And Diego Luna voices Chip, who is like a squirrel, who can shoot lightning from his hands. Along with that, you have John Krasinski is Superman. And Keanu Reeves is Batman. Mark Maron is Lex Luthor. And Olivia Wilde is Lois Lane. And the director is Jared Stern, who hasn't directed anything anything big other than this movie. But he did do the screenplays for both the Lego Ninjago movie and the Lego Batman movie. So, with it, I'm changing it up, not doing any ratings. But here are my general thoughts. I... From the first trailer I saw, I thought, okay, it looked like it could be fun. I wasn't sure if it was going to be bad or good, just couldn't tell. And that's how I kind of felt um, after I saw the movie. It's an interesting movie. We have, there are some fun parts, especially with, like, the characters. I thought the main like the main super group along with Lulu were all done well and all thought out on the other hand there are some nonsensical parts i know it's like for kids and families but there's things that just like it's like okay we you went there for example Lulu recruits a bunch of guinea pigs, and they all gain superpowers. I All I said in my mind when I, that happened is, okay. So, overall, it's enjoyable for what it is, but it's also a movie that you basically have to turn off your brain and... And and go into it just for what it is. A kids and family movie with DC Super Pets. So overall, I'm going to give this a three. Like I said, some good, some bad. But I can't recommend it higher than a three out of five. But that is my review for 2022's DC League of Super Pets. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.